Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a waypoint curve test and it's going to show you the precision of curves at different angles and heights both in the horizontal and vertical planes. Okay? There's going to be three different tests. This first part is going to be in the horizontal plane with varying degrees of curvature and then there's also going to be a test in the vertical plane and you could actually run curved turns in the vertical plane and I'll show you how to do that. And then the third part will be in varying degrees of curvature based on varying heights. Okay? So at the very end you're going to actually see the flight path of these different tests so you could actually see how well the drone tracked the curves. I'm going to zoom in to waypoint 12 and I'm going to show you a little trick that you have to follow in order to have a curve turn in the vertical plane. If I move waypoint 12 in line with waypoint 11, you're going to see the curve turn has disappeared. So you actually need to have it offset a little bit from purely the vertical plane in order to have a curve turn. There is an exception to this and I'll show you that later. In this third part of the test, you're going to see curve turns with varying altitudes for the waypoints. And then you'll be able to see how those adjustments in waypoint altitudes affects the curved turns. So here's the actual fly path in 3D. This is for the part of the test that covers curved turns in the horizontal plane and curved turns in the vertical plane. The curved turns actually very closely follows the curved paths that you've defined in your mission using your app or set on your desktop. And here's an overlay of the actual planned mission using the Litchi app. And you can see that the actual route is very, very close to what was actually planned. Let's take a look at the curve turns in the vertical plane. You'll see there's one that's a curve turn where you actually have a curve turn in the middle between two waypoints. That's the little hill shape right there that I'm highlighting there with my mouse. The other turn is a 90 degree turn. You can see the curve turn right there. Now let's take a look at the curve turns with the waypoint altitudes varying in height. So we're starting from home and the waypoint after that where the curve turn occurs is immediately increased up to the maximum height and then levels off to reach the third waypoint right there. Okay. The second curve turn has the third waypoint from the beginning of the curve turn reaching its maximum height and this curve turn has the middle waypoint going up and then going back down. Alright guys so that is it. Hopefully you found that video helpful. Hopefully it answered some questions probably created some questions for you too as well. Definitely a tough video to explain how this actually works and what I was doing here. But again, I hope you found some pointers here that was understandable and helpful for you guys. All right, so thanks for watching you guys. And uh, if you like this video, appreciate you hitting that like button. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye.